Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So, do random error messages just drive you crazy? Well, if you're like me and you have a little bit of OCD, then chances are you can't stand it when you see an error message. Especially if you don't really understand why that error message is there. It just drives you nuts. So, there's a common error message that pops up anytime you mine with Awesome Miner and Ethereum or any Ethereum based algorithm and it has to do with Claymore's Ethereum dual miner. Let me show you what I mean. This is a machine I have set up with an AMD RX 480 in it to mine Ethereum. But watch what happens when I click start. Everything seems okay. It pulls up Claymore's dual Ethereum miner, but the first message we see is in red and that usually means there's an error. So this says, you enabled full remote management but did not specify dash MPSW option to protect it by password. Please do it, otherwise you can be attacked if you share remote management port to internet or use negative dash M port value to enable read only remote management mode. See README for details. Well, if you're like me, you might just go read the README file because like I've said in other videos, there's lots of valuable information in those files. That's why they're there. They're here to help. But unfortunately, in this case, it doesn't provide a whole lot of information with how Awesome Miner interfaces with Claymore. You see, what's really going on here is that behind the scenes, Awesome Miner is using remote management so that it can read the hash rate and display it on the program. So look over here. So the hash rate is displayed here in Awesome Miner, which is a good thing because it uses this hash rate to determine the profit per day. That's how Awesome Miner can provide such great stats. And what's happening behind the scenes here is that Awesome Miner, when it's loading up Claymore, is passing through a couple of additional commands that basically say, use this port address to share the hash rate information with Awesome Miner. So Claymore takes that port address and then just periodically sends the hash rate over to Awesome Miner. Well, it's not really a security risk because um, unless you open that same port address in your router and expose it to the internet, then you really don't have to worry about it. It's all contained within your local network. But just for the sake of crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's and getting rid of that error message once and for all, it's a relatively simple procedure, which I'll show you right now. First, let's stop the mining process because we will need to send through a couple of different commands. To do that, let's just click on Options and then on Advanced at the bottom. And you'll see here at the very bottom it says Send Password for Claymore API Requests. So right here is where you're going to put a simple password that you'll remember. Whatever's good for you. I'll just use password for now. And then we have to update the pool with a new command that includes that same password. So we'll go ahead and click on pools and we'll go over here to our Ethereum pool. Click on edit. And from here you go to the advanced tab and you see here where it says add pool specific command line parameters. Just add dash MPSW and then type in the password. Click on OK. Click on OK. And now click start. No more red text. And of course, the hash rate is also being passed through over to Awesome Miner, which can then calculate our daily profits. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so that you get future updates. And if you want to continue the conversation, come join us on our Discord server. I'll leave a link down below. Meet some other like-minded individuals, get some mining tips, and talk crypto. Thanks again, guys. God bless.